So question number 23, we are told a quadrilateral with the vertices K11, L41, M23, and M13 is transformed by matrix 1301 to a quadrilateral KLM N prime, determining the coordinates of the image. So for you to be able to do this, uh, what you do is uh, you take the matrix of transformation that is 101, that is a transformation matrix. Uh, you form a matrix using uh, using the coordinates of the Im object. That is, you have one one. Uh, this is four one. Uh, that is two three, and we have uh, one uh, three. So these are the ma this is the matrix which will be formed. This is our K. This is our L. This is our M, and that is our n so when you multiply this you will say one times uh, one is one three times one is uh, three so you add you'll be able to get uh, one plus three is four you do the same one times four is four three times uh, one is three so th when you add that you'll be able to get seven uh, then we have um, one times two that is two three times three is nine you add you get uh, eleven this is one times one is one three times three is three so one plus three you get ten uh, you do the same zero times one is zero uh, then one times one is one so that will be zero plus one you get one uh, you find that because the first the first the second the third element is here is zero this row will repeat itself because we are multiplying it by one so we can uh, put it like that so this is our now this is our uh, k prime uh, l prime uh, that is uh, m prime and n prime so because we are told to find the coordinates of the image the con the coordinates of image will be k that will be four one uh, we have L prime, we have uh, 7, 1, uh, then you have uh, M prime, you have it is 11, 3, and N prime, you have it is 10 and 1. So that is how you get the coordinates of the image. Uh, part B, on the grid provided, draw an object and the, and the image. Draw the object and the image. Uh, so we are going to use a grid uh, to be able to do that uh, so I'll just copy these uh, coordinates of the object and the coordinates of the image and we'll be able to come up with that uh, those two figures this is the grid that I'm going to use and for convenience uh, let me write the coordinates of our, of our object this is a uh, one one our L is a uh, four one. We have our M is two three, and we have our N is uh, our N is one three. Uh, then we have the for for our image we have K prime. Uh, then we have K prime. It is four uh, one. Uh, we have L prime. Uh, L prime we got it is seven one. Uh, then we have M prime, we have uh, 11, 3, and we finally we have our N prime, which we got it is 10, 3. So with the coordinates now, it will be easy for us to plot the, the object and the image. So if you look at the values of X, I think the highest we have is 7, uh, the highest. If you look at the values of... Uh, yeah, uh, the values of y, the values of y, uh, I think the highest we have, we have three, I think it's three. Uh, the highest value of y, of x is uh, as for, uh, I think it's uh, uh, 11. So we can plan, you can use that to, s to plan your scale. So I just start here, that is uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You can exit by 1. Uh, so x, we have 1, y, that is 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 
six seven so that is our y uh, so now we can be able to plot the uh, to plot our our graph and we will be able to get our k is one one that is where we have our k our l is for our uh, four one that is where we have our l our m is two three that is two three that's where we have our l that our m not l our m our n is one three one three is there so that's where we have our n we join the four points to come up with the the figure that we have uh, and now we draw we we brought the, the the image k is 4 1 so that is where we have our k prime uh, our l is 7 1 our 7 1 is there that's l prime our m is 11 3 11 3 is there so that's where we have our m prime and n is at 10 3 so that's where we have our n prime so we join the uh, the four points to come up with the image. So that is our image. Uh, so we have both figures now. Uh, from the question, so this uh, going back to the question, we have uh, done that part. We have done that part. So part C describe through the transformation that maps K L M N onto K L M N prime. Here we have prime there. Uh, then lemma number two determine the area of the image. So let's uh, go back to our graph and find that. Uh, so part C, number number one, we are told to describe the, uh, the transformation that has mapped uh, KLMN onto KLMN prime. Uh, so this, uh, for us to be able, if you extend KN, uh, you find that it you, you extend it and it will come to that point. If you s extend KN here of the image, those two lines will meet there. Uh, let's extend uh, this LM prime and you find that that one will reach there. And if you extend this, it will pass there. So you can see uh, the, the two, the two uh, diagrams when you extend the, the, the lines which are in variant line, they are meeting at uh, the x-axis. So we say the transformation, this is a shear. For you to describe shear, you would describe the invariant line. So we can say it is a, we can say uh, it is a shear, uh, trans x-axis invariant, and uh, we have we we describe one point that has moved so we say our m our m is at two three uh transforms to uh our m prime that is our m prime uh which is uh, our m prime is at 11 uh, 3 so that's how we do that uh you can use uh, m you can also use n uh, alternatively, you can say n moves from 1, 3 uh, to 10, 3. It is the same. You only need to describe with one point. So that's how you do that. Then from there, we are, we are required to find the area of the image. So that is part 2, Roman number 2. So you realize that the image is a trapezium. That is a pass, uh, that KL prime is parallel to... Uh, to m n prime so area we say for a trapezium we add the two sides so this is one unit uh, so we can say one plus uh, the k l it is three units so you say it is three you divide by two uh, and that you multiply by the height from uh, here the height is two uh, so this will be four that will be four divided by two is divided by two is uh, that is a uh, this is uh, the height is one two, so you multiply. This is a uh, four divided by two is two. Two multiplied by two that will give you four uh, square units. So that's how you find the area of that uh, image. So part D, we are told find a matrix which maps uh, K L M N onto K L M N. 
So actually here, it's like uh, you, you, are asked, you are being asked to get the inverse of this matrix, uh, like this 1, 3, and uh, 0, 1. How do we get the inverse? Uh, so what we need to do is uh, to get the determinant and interchange the elements of the main diagonal. Then we introduce uh, the negative, a negative sign to the other diagonal. So let's do that on the graph. So for us, for us to be able to get the, 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 the inverse of this matrix, our matrix we have, it is 1, uh, 3, 0, and 1. So we first of all get the determinant. Determinant, you say it is 1 times 1 minus 3 times 0, and that will give you 1. When the determinant is 1, to get uh, our matrix, I think our matrix was T inverse is equals to, uh, we interchange the elements of the main diagonal. So because we have th here it is 1 and here it is 1, that remains the same. Uh, we introduce a negative sign to the other diagonal, so this will be minus 3. A 0, when you multiply by minus 1, it remains 0, and that is the inverse of that matrix. So I hope you have followed. Uh, that is how you work out that question, uh, which you covered in um, a Form 4 topic, uh, Matrices and Transformation. And you should be able to get 10 marks from that question. It's not difficult. Uh, if you follow the, uh, the, 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 the right procedure. Get more of this, uh, subscribe to this channel, then click this icon to get the notification whenever I produce a new video. You can call or WhatsApp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class.